Hi, welcome to another episode of Talking with Docs. I'm Dr. Brad Weening. And I'm Dr. Paul Zalzo. Okay, today, Paul, second part, part two of our video from a really cool uh, group, the Environmental Working Group, who every year gives us two lists of fruits and vegetables that have higher concentrations of pesticides and significantly lower concentrations of pesticides, known as the Dirty Dozen and the Clean 15. They're good at rhyming over there, too. Yeah. Obviously, they care. The good, the bad, and the ugly. <laughs> <laughs> just don't have, they don't have an ugly list. That's right. So this is a list of 15 fruits and vegetables that typically have less pesticides. So they are more safe to buy just off the counter. Um, and there are less benefits to buying organically when it comes to these 15. So if you're out there and you're like, I'm not sure what to get, but I really want to avoid pesticide. These are 15 of the more safe right. fruits and vegetables. They don't have zero pesticides. They don't have zero. Have I think less. really nothing can almost nothing can have zero. Uh, these not days. at this point. I'm nope. sure I'm wearing pesticide right now. Sure. Okay. Number one. Avocados. Avocados, delicious. I love my guacamole. Go, love guacamole, avocado on a salad. It adds creaminess to all sorts of great vegan recipes. So number one is avocado. What well, goes well in your burrito? Sweet corn. Sweet, Sweet corn. corn. And you wonder if maybe it's related to the husk. I suspect that provides some type of uh, protective benefit as well as maybe the outside part of the kernel itself. I'm not sure. Yeah, some of our astute viewers will see that our list contains a lot of fruits and vegetables that have a good they are husky coating. They're husky. They're covered in something that you peel before you get at the good stuff, which ends up protecting them. That's a nice lead into number three, which is which is pineapple, and that makes sense. You think, how the heck are you gonna get through? It's hard to cut. Yeah. Remember, we had we had an office partner who cut his finger trying to cut a pineapple. Yes, he did. Yeah. yeah. Be careful cutting your pineapple. Yeah. The number next four. one is thin skin, so yeah. onion, yeah. so. Yeah, and you wonder if maybe because more of it is, is below the ground or maybe the who knows. Maybe we the just, bugs just don't go to the onions and they don't need to use as much pesticide. They're just resilient. Number five is papaya. So again, uh, not a quite as thick skinned fruit, but uh, delicious. And that probably provides a protection from the pesticides. You know what the next one is, sweet pea? <laughs> sweet peas. Okay, interesting. So you, we grew sweet peas in our garden. I love sweet peas and they have that, that kind of that outer. Uh, we, not us. Not we, we be me and my I'm wife and my kids, I guess, but they don't really help much. Um, <laughs> number seven is asparagus. Asparagus is on our sweet, on our clean 15, not our sweet 15. Our clean 15 less asparagus. Delicious. Yep. Don't, don't go where everyone goes on asparagus I'm not every going. single time. Okay, I'm number eight. You've heard of the honeydew list. Yes. Honeydew melon is on that. Right. Honeydew melon, probably because of that thick protective melon shell. And for those of you who don't do the honey-do list, it's a list that typically is made for your honey. It's a to-do list mm -hmm. for your honey. Honey-do this. A lot honey of men that. refer to their list as the honey-do list, but... It goes, it's not gender specific. <laughs> That's right. It's a honey-do list. You make a list for your wife? No. No, obviously. Number nine is kiwi. Kiwi. Maybe it's the fur on the outside of that kiwi that keeps stuff away and says, yeah. hey, pesticides, beware. Next one is cabbage. Okay. So it turns out we you know be like cabbage, not even the bugs. So well, they don't I love cabbage. Out. Cabbage is so good for you. It's delicious. We don't know exactly why, but yes, uh, number number ten is cabbage. And number eleven is mushrooms. The fungi seem to not accumulate pesticides. Well, that's it. Next one's cantaloupe. Cantaloupe again. Can't. Super. You can't you can't get inside of it if you're a pesticide. No. And it makes sense because it's almost woody. The outside of a cantaloupe is very very firm. You can't get into the get we, into the fruit inside. We grew cantaloupe this year. Did you? Yeah. It's Man. amazing. A lot of people think, Ontario, you can grow cantaloupe? I'm like, yeah. You just have to start really early inside. We grew a lot of stuff this year. I have grow lights in my office in February, and my kids were nervous that everyone in our neighborhood thought we were going to be growing pot. I'm <laughs> like, it's okay, we're growing cantaloupe. Beside the pot. Sure you are. Uh, number 13 is mangoes. Delicious. A lot of delicious fruit. Um, this is number 13 on our Clean 15 list. Uh, 14, my favorite, yeah. watermelon. I who, love watermelon. Who doesn't love watermelon in that? Yeah, that one inch, the one inch skin protects the fruit inside from accumulating pesticides. And the last one is sweet potatoes. Sweet potatoes, again, is a much firmer potato than like a white potato or a yellow mm -hmm. potato. That likely um, allows it to not accumulate pesticides at the same rate. So here you go. There's your clean 15 list. These are typically uh, foods that do not accumulate pesticides. As much. Yes, and there's less benefit to organic. To please don't think that there's no benefit to getting organic, but if you had to pick which ones, Dirty Dozen list, try to go organic. The Clean 15, you can go less organic. Dirty Dozen you... list we presented in another yes. video. You know, it's interesting, Paul. Mm -hmm absence of chicken wings on on your clean 15 list you're always talking about great chicken wings. it's a are. clean 16 list really and the 16th <laughs> is the chicken wing the chicken wing. there you go so if you like this list please like it subscribe to our channel share it with someone who goes grocery shopping remember you are in charge of your own health see you next time